Hey there, food fans. Welcome back to the Food for Thoughtcast with me, your host, Melissa Reagan. As always, you can call me Chef, joined by the official co-host of the Food for Thoughtcast, Chef Stephen Gonzalez, everybody's favorite good cooker. What's up, dude? <laughs> hey, what's going on? And we're joined today by Jacob Roth of the Good Day for a Movie podcast. What's up, my guy? What's up? How are we doing? Thanks for having me on. I'm very excited. Dude, yeah. absolutely. Thanks for coming on. We're, we're super stoked about this. All right, so to kick it off, before I even say what we're going to talk about, I have to know the most amazing thing that you both ate this week. Go ahead. Guess okay, first. well, um, I, I've eaten, so we'll probably get into this a little bit, but I'm very good at identifying things that I'm like, I shouldn't do, but I'm bad at stopping doing those things. So <laughs> there's a reason Same. I'm on this episode. Um, <laughs> I, I've been eating a lot of fast food, but. All right. I'm going to throw it two weeks back. I think I made cinnamon rolls. My mm. great aunt's recipe. They're just Rhodes frozen cinnamon rolls. Don't tell anybody. Oh but God. I made them for you a Bible study. Did. Somebody else made chili. I know you guys got into that a couple episodes ago. We um, did. And cinnamon rolls and chili. You're not dipping the cinnamon roll into the chili. You're eating like oh. a couple bites of chili and then like maybe a bite or two of cinnamon roll. And you just kind of eat them at the same time, but you're not eating them together. I could do. I could look into that. Yeah, it, the the whole the whole uh, <laughs> debate of beans versus no beans. It's just a reoccurring nightmare that we'll bring up <laughs> many more times in this podcast. Hey, Cody Johnson just released a new album, and he's got a song about Texas. And there, the line. Let me let me pull it up. I just texted it to my co-host Tate, who lives in Austin. Yeah, um, I must know. We had we had a con long conversation about chili. The other day, he, uh, the line in the song, it's called That's Texas. It's, it's he said, ain't no such thing as chili with beans. That's Texas. <laughs> <laughs> You're not wrong. <laughs> He's not wrong. He's not wrong. All right. So, Roth, you had chili and cinnamon rolls. Mm -hmm. mm, more to come mm -hmm. later. And mm -hmm. Steve? <laughs> well, seeing is how we're going from one holiday, i.e. known as Halloween, the best thing I ate was just a ton of Kit Kats and Snickers and yeah. uh, Reese's peanut butter cups. Mm -hmm. And and now that we're going into November, um, today we did some uh, pasties with Thanksgiving leftovers because I'm trying to get ahead of myself. So it was like turkey and stuffing pasties, you know? So You already made turkey and stuffing? Well, it's kind of like a sneak peek because I'm doing like a like a news um, segment. If you oh, I see. We're pre-recording some stuff. Nice. But, yeah. TBA. Such a badass, <laughs> Steve. <laughs> <laughs> I just have a problem not saying no, especially when it comes to food. Yes, I'll totally film some food. Yeah, of course. <laughs> what? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I get that. I get that. <laughs> um, let's see. The most amazing thing I ate today was I stopped at my local bar. Shout out to good friends. Um, Stopped at my local bar on the way home, got a Caesar salad with no dressing, and dumped a uh, half quart of vegan chili on top and some carne asada, which all sounds like an oxymoron, but it was delicious. So I mean, that's that's what I did. No, I was finished eating good. it like four minutes ago. That was the most amazing thing I've eaten this week, hands down. So, I mean, yeah, that sounds pretty good. I'm I know it sounds silly, but their vegan chili is so good that I've I've only tasted the meat one once in like nine years. So what what the heck would be a vegan chili in Texas? It's like if there's no beans. It's like beans and a lot of chilies. <laughs> so there, so there's, there's no beans. Vegan chili. <laughs> That's the only time it's acceptable. It's like yeah 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 yeah. If you're using if you're making vegan chili in the in the protein sources, bean. I mean, I make a pretty good chili with like eggplants and mushrooms and and um, and no beans. And I've served it to meat eaters before, and they're like, oh, this is amazing. It takes a lot of trickery, uh, mm -hmm. but this this is beans and a lot of chilies and it's really really good so so yeah all right hey so i want to explain to everybody uh first of all this is my good friend jacob roth from wyoming Hello. all right so um he is much esteemed guest here on the food for thought cast but you know part of the reason i started this podcast was because i really wanted to celebrate um and you know elevate the conversations that happen around food when everybody's gathered around the table. So that means, you know, everybody doesn't have to be a professional chef who comes on here. We've had plenty of people, right? We've had um, advocates for 
um, scarcity. We've had uh, social media managers on here. We've had bakers. We've had chefs. We've had home cooks. You know, but there's all there's been all sorts of things on the Food for Thought cast, and it is my strong belief that food unites us and it's a common ground. And so my good buddy here has an extremely successful movie podcast, which we'll get into later. Successful is not a word but, I throw around. Yeah, but, but I did. Long running. Uh, long but running. I did. <laughs> <laughs> There's a reason it's long running. It can't all be like your mom downloading it. Okay. But like, yeah. So he has this really excellent movie podcast and he did reach out one day. He's a huge supporter of the food for thought cast, which I appreciate so much. Yeah. And he reached out one day and was like, Hey, if you ever want to talk about fast food, I'm your guy. And I was like, dude, you're on. So here we are. <laughs> I think I framed it as, Hey, if you ever run out of ideas, because this is when we were still doing it solo. I was like, I got you because in all honesty, I'm not a movie expert. I'm not a sports expert. If I'm an expert in one thing, it's fast food because I am a human trash can. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm the guts like just never get bothered by what I eat. So it's yeah. Yeah, this fast is, food would be the one thing. This I... is the spot for the human trash pandas. So human mm -hmm. trash pandas <laughs> unite. Mm -hmm. So that's a hell of a soundbite right there. But Josh, tell us a little bit about your podcast before we get started. Josh, how about Jacob? Gosh, just Jacob, kidding. Jesus Christ! Sorry, you know, uh, no, you're 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 totally fine. So I <laughs> quick aside I'm on like, that. Listen, I'm looking at a you're list not the only answer for fast food. A little and bit of you are the, or beer the guys. Or something. Hold on. The guy's name is Josh, so I was just glancing at the paper. My bad. My you're bad. not the only person to call me Josh, so I, I'm not. part of a nonprofit as well. And I think like <laughs> the third meeting, somebody that I like, I don't know, we'd, we'd known each other for a month or two, maybe a little bit longer than that. Um, she's like, and Josh is here, and I'm like, <laughs> who? So Josh, Jacob, I, I respond to everything. Um, well, Jacob Roth, it's like if you put them together, it's almost Josh. Oh, okay. We've well, got that guy here. You, you want to hear a cooking? <laughs> In elementary school, I was tormented by the name Chicken Broth, because if you say Jacob Roth fast, it sounds like Chicken Broth. So I thought that's where you're going to go. That's real Bush League. No, 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 no. This is. <laughs> no, yeah. Um, Good. Good day for a movie podcast is the podcast. We review a different movie every week. Um, one of my buddies from high school and his older brother. Um, it's it's kind of turned into just like our way of like not like growing apart because Tate lives in Austin. Sage lives. He's going to the Culinary Institute of America in New York. Um, mm, nice. So, yeah, it's it's kind of just turned into a way that we can keep in track. And if people listen, uh, keep in touch. And if people listen along the way, we're happy about it. Um, but yeah, I. Uh, I'm also on the radio. I, I don't know if this is the time to plug stuff or if we're going to do, do that it. at the end. Yeah, but let's do time. Yeah. I, I, uh, I'm a program director for our local stations here. Um, I'm on our classic country station, 1033 The Range. We're playing the old stuff, like 19, like the 50s until like 2001. Yeah. So, yeah, I love it. I nice. love it. Now is absolutely the time to plug. I'm not editing this, I've already made a promise. I love it. Um, people can hear how I fucked up your first name and then, <laughs> uh, we can get into all the fun and they can hear me say the F word too. It's fine. Like <laughs> it's Friday. This is what we're going with. So I promise I was literally just talking to like two Josh's and that's how One that my favorite no, F word, by the way, it's Friday. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's my favorite F word Friday. Um, what's next on the podcast? Do you know what you guys will talk about next? Oh man, that is a great question. I, we recorded so long ago that I've forgotten. Um, uh, let's see. <laughs> All so right. Our so our last just... episode was swingers. Nope. Our okay. episode that comes out Monday is swingers. I don't know when this is being released. Excellent. Um, yeah. before that was sleepy hollow for <laughs> yeah, our Halloween sleepy special. A fantastic episode. Yep. Um, Soylent green is our next. Nice. People yes. It's people. Yeah. yeah. I've never uh. seen it. Dude, so, yeah. that's awesome. So I've never seen that movie either, but I used to listen to this band called Soylent Green, mm -hmm. and that's how I learned about the movie, and I've watched bits and pieces. I think from what I've seen, you're going to like it. I'm excited. I, I have a very eclectic taste in everything, so movies included. Um, I'm excited. It nice. should be a good one. It was a shocking pick from Sage. He wouldn't. He doesn't <laughs> pick 70s movies, so I was... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, I mean... Yeah, I'm aware of that. So yeah. that is kind of a strange pick from him. Mm -hmm. um, we're actually going to talk to Tate soon on the Food for Thought cast. Nice. So That's what I heard. The co host of the Good Day for Movie podcast. But listen, everybody, there are links to food everywhere. What's my favorite thing to do while watching a movie? Eat food. 
So here we are. Um, all right. So I encourage everybody to check that podcast out. We're going to plug it again at the end, just in case you missed it. But tonight we're talking about fast food. Uh, so Jacob came to me and was like, Hey, if you ever want to talk about fast food, I'm your guy. I'm taking him up on that now. Um, Steve, basically how this is going to happen, right? Is Jacob's big sports guy asked him to make a bracket. Well, <laughs> As you and everybody else who watches sports know, and as I learned through the power of Google, a lot of times sports teams are seeded mm -hmm. maybe by their rankings, right? Yeah, right. that's mm -hmm. yeah a committee sure. usually. So I figure that the American people have already voted with their dollars. So the best way to do this was going to be seeding the bracket by the amount of annual sales. So tonight we're here to decide if the American people are dumb or smart or if they have good taste or not. And I need to um, also learn what a Runza is, but we'll get into mm, that. Oh, we'll get um, into that. So, all right. Oh, yeah. Sounds like we're so, going to be learning tonight. <laughs> yeah, right? I'm I'm ready to learn and then also be hungry. So I'm probably going to go see which one of these places is open after we mm -hmm. get done recording. <laughs> um, all right. Well, Jacob, thank you so much for being on. Uh, I'm going to throw it to you. He's going to get us started with round one. And what yeah, I'm so calling I the Fast and the Curious. A little Let's background go. here. So. Um, I, I it was really hard to find like a full like a long list of like fast food restaurants sorted by annual sales or whatever it may be. It was like mm -hmm. ten or twelve, and I was like, I want a list of fifty. What are you doing to me? Um, <laughs> so I I did finally find a list of fifty. It was from QSR, but twenty five of those were not fast food restaurants. Yeah, you had your Subway, about. Jimmy John's, um, Shake Shack. Like I I I made a clear and it, i shouldn't say clear <laughs> because so i this example is thrown around a lot but i think it was in the 90s maybe a few years before that the supreme court had to make a ruling on pornography versus art and mm -hmm. where one picture may or may not fall and i can't remember who it was but one of the supreme court justices says said i cannot define it but you know it when you see it so that's kind of how I feel like the fast food, fast casual thing goes. That's really not the example I was expecting. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, eclectic taste. You want me to cite some Supreme Court cases? I can do that. <laughs> <laughs> but so I, I, I did try to take a I, I, anything that was on the edge. I would look up and I would go to their Wikipedia page. I'd go to the web, their website and see how they labeled themselves, whether it's fast food, fast casual, um, just chain in general. So I, uh, I, I think I've, I've, I, pr all of these except for one are definitely fast food. One I think is making the change over to fast food. So it was included. Okay. So, okay. um, want to get started here? We'll start with the first play in matchup, which, um, it, it's the, for the 32 seed, because this was something that I didn't know where, like, if you would consider this fast food, it's your coffee places. So we've actually, we're actually going to decide okay. on three to play our number one seed. Starbucks, Dunkin' Donuts, and Tim Hortons. Hmm. Has okay. everybody had those three, first off? I think I've had Tim Hortons once. Yes, but like not in Texas. So do they have yeah. them there, Ralph? No. So they're, they are a Canadian brand. Um, they've, they've leaked across the border a little bit, but I have had Tim Hortons. We were, I was up in Canada. My, my, Dad's mom is from Canada, so we were. Mm -hmm. I was up there last year, and on the way back, we stopped at Tim Hortons. I gotta say, it was amazing. It was very, very good. <laughs> um, I've only had Dunkin' Donuts once, and I had a donut, and I didn't try the coffee because at the time I wasn't into coffee. Um, th if somebody has a strong opinion here on what you think should win, let me know because I don't. I'd say either Starbucks or Tim's. I, I've had Dunkin' Donuts coffee, and it's pretty shite i <laughs> i didn't it was nothing special it was really shitty brown water and mm -hmm. uh you know i i drink my coffee black so i don't go for like the the special flavors and all that other nonsense um even when i i rarely go to starbucks but when i do i mean it gets the job done if i'm if my heart is not palpitating and I, my eye pupils are not that wide, you know, <laughs> it's not doing the job. And every now and then I can get Starbucks to do that for me, you know? So I'm gonna have to go with Starbucks on this one. Tim Hortons. 
like I said, I think I've had it once, but I've been to a bunch of random chains where mm -hmm. I don't know who in the hell they are. All I know is they, they got coffee, you know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's the most important part. Melissa, your thoughts. And don't forget about the food options that they have as well, because I think that's important. Yeah, you can't forget. They're called like 10 bits, right? I think they're like a, a donut hole. Yep, yep. Um, but, you know, I have to say, anybody who knows me really well knows that I'm obsessed with the East Coast and also Boston. So I got to go donkeys. Like, oh, I, no. for me, it's like okay. the, the caffeine is what I think Starbucks coffee tastes burnt. It's awful. Um, but you know, if, but if you're going to put Duncan's against Tim Hortons, so if you're going to put Duncan's food right against Tim Hortons, I'm like, okay, Tim Hortons. But if you're going to put the coffee, I'm like, uh, Gotta put, it's, it's an, a conglomeration. It's the cream, right? It's the cream that mm -hmm. makes the coffee taste good. And I'm, I'm a black coffee. I like dark and black, like my soul. So, um, <laughs> you know, yeah, so. look at you guys. See, I, I'm a foo-foo coffee drinker. I got to get it all. Oh, dolled up and whatnot <laughs> yeah it's uh I, it, saw, I just saw you pointing at yourself and said i drink my coffee black and you know like yeah me it, too. it was it was when you were saying i don't do all that stuff i was like i do oh. yeah no oh. I, uh, he was like I, me yeah. i'm the guy i also yeah. don't like hot drinks so i don't drink hot coffee it's like iced coffees and like oh, God. oh yeah yeah it's I, oh. I this look i'm new i i am a recent recent like convert into the coffee culture so we'll give you a few years, it'll be 105 outside and I still got to have hot coffee. I yeah. can't do a cold. Yeah. See, it'll, it'll be negative <laughs> 20 because it gets there here in Wyoming <laughs> and I'll have to get like, I'll, I'll have an iced coffee. What so. is, who hurt you? <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm sweating my ass off drinking coffee and you're freezing your ass off drinking coffee. <laughs> yep. Yep. <laughs> All right. Well, oh, I will. Man. I will go ahead and put Starbucks through. Um, I've never really had the Duncan experience. Um, there's one in Fort Collins where I grew up, but that's the extent of it. Um, I don't think it's going to matter too much because Look, if you're not having Duncan served by like a rude mass hole, then right. You're I want out. like an Affleck's like long lost brother to be <laughs> it's, it's smoking an and handing me a coffee. Yes. It's experience. When, I, when I go to Duncan. Um, <laughs> well, so I, I will move on Starbucks for the um, sake of the tiebreaker because I, I would have voted, voted Tim Hortons, but I'm not going to do that because I would make it one to one to one. Um, like I said, it doesn't matter. I don't think because 32 Starbucks is taking on the number one seed McDonald's. Oh, Melissa, yeah. we'll start with you. Oh, your, your, <laughs> your, your thoughts on McDonald's <laughs> and, uh, who you voting for between McDonald's and Starbucks. It's like, do we go food or coffee? Right? Because, um, all right, I'm going to tell you guys the story. This is going to be a long episode, right? It may uh, be. When I worked when I worked in the airport, um, the group that I worked for owned a couple Starbucks, so I ate and drank there for free, a hundred percent free for like two years. I've had my fill and I've tasted every seasonal thing that they have. Now, would I ever choose a Starbucks cake ball over like a twenty piece <laughs> McNug? N no, just for sentimental reasons. The nuggets are not good; they're they're crap. But if you were asking me if I would take McDonald's, coffee over starbucks burnt as it may be also no but i i'm gonna have to go with mcdonald's for the food options so that that's my answer i'm gonna have to weigh in and you know what i might i have to actually agree with you um i think mcdonald's coffee's better but Ugh. mcdonald's has one thing that starbucks doesn't one word mcgriddles mm. that's it that's it. I feel like choosing between McDonald's coffee and Starbucks coffee is like choosing between gonorrhea and, her and herpes. Like nobody wins. <laughs> We're earning this. Sorry. Bag. <laughs> I could, we can insert a lot of bad jokes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's uh, McDonald's is the answer. Um, I, 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 I used to eat McDonald's all the time. Um, I have the McDonald's that's closest to me. I'm in Cheyenne, so everything's close to me. But the one that's mm -hmm. closest to me, I we have an awful toxic. I don't I don't throw that word toxic around very often. Facebook group called Cheyenne Rants and Raves, and they posted <laughs> something about like the like what McDonald's does, like that specific location. Like oh no, and so it just scared me off of McDonald's as a whole for a while. I'm finally getting my groove back and going every once in a while. I I got to get there before Lent starts so I can have those flayo fishes. But um, 
yeah, McDonald's is the answer. They are probably the most consistent um, thing of like the 20th and 21st century. Like whether it be like Ford, Chevy, McDonald's, McDonald's always delivers no <laughs> matter where you go. You're going to get it pretty much be, the same thing. It's it could be consistently yeah. good or bad uh, yeah. depending on where you live. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Consistently um, inconsistent. Can't yeah, and, and I mean, you, you brought it up. McDonald's breakfast is um, very good. Very good for sure. The pancakes have this vanilla thing going on. It's so good. Yeah. Yeah. How do they yeah. say in uh in the movies uh it, the McGriddles have it's got fucking syrup in <laughs> 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 Yep. All right, so moving down to our next matchup, the 16 versus 17, Zach's V's versus Hardy slash Carl's Jr. I combine the two because they're pretty much the same there's negligible negligible differences um i will go first because i have not had zaxby's um has not made its way up here there may be some in denver denver has a lot but um sometimes they're kind of hard to get to because denver traffic is awful so i'm, I'm gonna vote for uh hardy slash carl's jr again i did have a bad carl's jr experience i uh got a soda and it was flat and i went to dump it out in the work sink when i opened it and dumped it out there was a hair probably 18 inches long in the soda. No. Huh. no. I was like, how? <laughs> so no. I, I haven't been to, I haven't been back in some time. <laughs> no. Still voting for Carl Soda, off. which is probably wrong. That's terrible. Steven, what do you think? You know, I've never had Zaxby's, but I have had Carl's Jr. And I, you know, their quality doesn't suck. Mm -hmm. I will totally eat their especially when of course the first thing i always look at is a bacon cheeseburger mm -hmm. and what i liked about carl's jr is that when you take a bite you don't rip a whole strip of bacon out does that make sense mm -hmm. like that is a huge pet peeve of mine mm -hmm. so in this case because of that because of bacon i'm gonna have to go with carl's jr melissa you, you, you can still sway me on zaxby's if you're like this is a <laughs> religious experience if you have it i'll switch my vote but no 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 um i have to go carl's jr for the biscuits alone like hmm. yeah a little sausage Very nice. biscuit action it's good there's our first upset yeah <laughs> there's our first upset all right moving right along here in the sake of time um we got two places that are uh known for their frozen treats as um and one of them known for their food a little bit as well, but uh, we got number nine seed Dairy Queen, underrated food option in my opinion. Um, going up against number twenty four seed Freddy's Frozen Custard and Steak Burgers. I'm already nodding my Steven, head. Steven, what do you think? I'm already nodding my head. Freddy's all the way. I love me a Blizzard from Dairy Queen, but man, I love their burgers. I love their food. Um, I'll. I'll say a quick story, but like back in the day, in my bachelor days, my dog and I would go get Freddy's frozen custard all the time. And nice. I would get myself a burger, fries, and I'd get him some chicken tenders and we would enjoy a lovely meal. And he would go hide his chicken tenders and come back for more immediately. Sometimes he'd forget <laughs> I'd find petrified chicken tenders, but <laughs> things will always have a special place in my heart. Melissa, you're shaking your head. I can't. I'm gonna get a whiplash over here. Uh, I can't. It was was that Coney, Steve? Yeah, that was Coney. I, totally. I can't even. I can't even vote on sentimentality because there's nothing better than a DQ dude. Sam, like this sandwich. Oh <laughs> God, man, it's so. Good. Hey, the flamethrower burger is fantastic. Dude, I just that's before you even get to the blizzard and mm -hmm. the and the and the sandwich and the dude. I, it's Dairy Queen. See, see out in West Texas, the, that's all you get from Dairy Queen is the blizzards. Like, because the food just, you know, like you were saying, it's inconsistent, you know? And in this case, Shut your in West mouth. Texas, I, I'm not the one that cooks the food, but when I have Dude, the food, I, the I'm just like, I'll fingers, just have, I'll just Here, Here's food. a very underrated thing. I, I don't know how many people know about it, but if you get, if you get chicken fingers from Dairy Queen, you know what you can get to dip them in? Hot gravy. Hell Yeah. Yeah, it's the that's same thing on the state finger mill with a text. To, oh, yeah, it, I, I'm going Dairy so Queen hard. as well. I we, Sorry, we got a Freddy's Steve. in Laramie my, my last couple of years, and it was pretty good. 
Um, I'm, I'm not a fan you, of the shoestring fries. <laughs> <laughs> the, the shoestring fries are too small for me. Listen, the you only Freddy's like, that yeah. we have here are the closest one to me has this service is abhorrent. Like mm-hmm. it just, I almost became a Karen in the drive-thru one. I can't do it. I can't, I can't do it. I can't. Yeah. I, the, uh, what is your guys' go-to blizzard order? What do you guys like to get in your blizzards? I'm always, uh, whenever they have like the s'mores and all that kind of shit, mm-hmm. I'm all about that. Like the seasonal stuff. Yeah. I'm going to heat uh, bar all the way. I, I, I do Reese's peanut butter cups. Yeah, I, I love Reese's, especially in a blizzard. Um, all right. Another play in matchup here, um, to play the number eight seed, 25 seed white castle against other 25 seed crystal burger. I, uh, yeah, Seriously? I know. See, I, I will, I, I will <laughs> let my decision be like completely swayed because I've never had either one. Um, I know they both serve sliders. One's a little bit different than the other, but, uh, white burger versus crystal burger, Melissa, you first. Dude, this isn't even fair. That is not fair. <laughs> uh, so I don't really know if either one of these exist in Texas. I am a terrible Texan. I don't, no. I don't know if they're actually here or not. But I've had both. I've had both um, in the South. Dude, I got to go with White Castle. Like 100% White Castle. So, I, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's just... I'm kind of in agreement with you on that one. Crystal Burger is good. I've had it once or twice. Um, it, uh, it is very similar to uh, white castle, which is why it's kind of a tough decision. Mm-hmm. And I know people who have crystal burger in their, you know, close area is pro they're probably saying, what is wrong with you? No, they're not the same, but I mean, yep. you know, white castle to me, it's, you know, you can't go wrong with it. Look, Harold and Kumar didn't go to crystal burger. They went to white castle. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> yeah I, I don't even have to vote which is wonderful again kind of going up against uh buzzsaw here number eight seed popeyes taking on a play-in tournament winner white castle look popeyes had a big day in the sun a few years ago just before covid i think when they released the their spicy mm-hmm. chicken sandwich mm-hmm. um popeyes there's a podcast i used used to listen to i don't listen to them anymore but uh they said something that's very accurate about popeyes you will go with a very specific order and you'll order whether it's the chicken fingers meal, you'll get want to get red beans and rice and a biscuit. You will get bone in fried chicken and you will get green beans and you'll get an ice cream and you'll be like, not what I ordered. Still very good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to complain. <laughs> <laughs> When Steve, right, go right. Uh, <laughs> so you're right. Popeyes, they are very inconsistent, mm-hmm. but the quality of their food is pretty awesome. Their biscuits, yeah, the, that's legit. I love their sweet tea. Mm. Um, I mean, I will say one time I went and I found like a piece of like a scrubby in my sweet no. tea. But <laughs> no, but it didn't pay me. I just poured it out and got a new cup of fry from the same bag. <laughs> Um, <laughs> but I mean, I'm going to, I'm going to pull a wild card here and I'm going to have to go with white castle over this one. Cause I prefer sliders over like the fried chicken, even mm-hmm. though Popeye's is really hella good. I have to go with white castle on this one. I, I, I also have to go with white castle. Uh, we have better fried chicken locally. I mean, it's, granted, it's not a chain that's going to make this list. Right. But. Part of the reasoning is because I love a burger patty that's cooked on onions. Like, I like that. That that's the thing. Wow. Right. That's what makes it really, really good. Um, Popeyes. Besides never getting what you actually order, <laughs> there is there is a a certain location of Popeyes here that is right next to movie theater. After um, every Marvel movie, I've never felt like my life was more in danger than when I was waiting for my food at Popeyes. So. I don't know if I can say that or not. Oh, whatever. Yeah, like, whatever. We're going to get canceled. We're right, like 37 gonna... episodes in. I don't give a shit. <laughs> I, I will defend Popeyes here a little bit. I'll, I'll give it. A, it's it, Look, it, it came in as a high seed, number eight seed. Yeah. Popeyes is like, 
are they the Purdue of this tournament? Maybe not. Maybe there's <laughs> there's there's another Purdue that I think could be coming down the oh, line here man, in a little you bit. Translate this sports um, stuff. <laughs> a team that it, like <laughs> is always really good in the regular season, and they just lose in heartbreaking fashion. Like all the sure. Dallas teams. Okay, sorry. Um, yeah. Except the, for the uh, Rangers. I love Popeyes. Yeah. They're Cajun fries. I, I'm a big fan of fries, and especially if they're Cajun, yeah. they've got a little bit of a spice to them. Yeah. Um, but that's all right. White Castle, it is. White Castle moves on. Uh, the the 20, <laughs> 25 seed upsets the eight seed. Um, moving down to the bottom left section of this bracket, um, our first and I think only fast food, or I'm sorry, seafood fast food chain with Long John Silvers. Not many of them around anymore, I don't think, but I thought they still deserve to into the tournament um oh and i i will say that th so only the top 25 seeds here are um from the actual list uh 26 through 32 um are kind of melissa myself um listener recommendations and i kind of ordered them on how i think they should be ordered um so long john silver's taking on wendy's which um in my opinion has oh my god of the big three the best really? hamburger um <laughs> you got the frosties fantastic chicken nuggets especially now that the spicy chicken nuggets seem to be back for good um a very good salad at wendy's as well um i'm just gonna cast my vote vote right now i'm voting for wendy's i will second that you can't go wrong with a triple meat triple cheese with bacon mm -hmm. baconators mm -hmm. and their fries that are always crispy mm -hmm. and you put that in your frosty i like seafood but i haven't eaten at long john silver's probably in decades <laughs> yeah. it's not my choice i just always forget about it so when I, is... i'm so sad about this because you better pick wendy's I, no but i'm i'm look you are wearing hey, if you're watching wendy's. this on youtube like sure here we are right <laughs> but i am so sad about this because i don't even know if they have it anymore but they used to this strawberry cream pie that came like in a little cardboard triangle where you like rip the sides and the lid would come off that's a fond childhood memory that in the crispies but dude wendy's you order that broccoli and cheese baked potato and you dump the chili in it holy god i was gonna say very good chili at wendy's <gasps> it's as well. so good mm -hmm. i don't care if it has beans or not that's some of the only <laughs> chili with say. beans i'll eat if they yes. have beans, I know it's they got beans, beans in them. Too. It takes it down just a little bit, but <laughs> like as far as fast food chili goes, I I think I'd rather put Wendy's chili on a on a foot long hot dog than I would Sonic, and I worked there, so that's saying a lot. <laughs> you know, so oh, that hurt. That one Wendy's hurt. pretty good lemonade as well. I will say. Um, all right, Wendy's moves on, and now we are going with a. Uh, Texas staple, something I have absolutely had the couple times I've been to Texas. Whataburger, number 13 seed, going against a place that I'd never really heard of, but they were on the top 20, uh, top 50 list for QSR, El Pollo Loco. Hmm. Hmm. That's oh, a good man. one. Is anybody, <laughs> has anybody had El Pollo Loco? Yeah. I've had it. I've had it, yeah. How, yeah. how is it? Fire grilled chicken is what their website says. I mean, it's good, um, but it's it's chicken. You know, <laughs> yeah, I, I don't I'm know, sorry. Man. I gotta go with the home, the hometown hero of Whataburger, mm -hmm. mostly because they always add just a little extra salt on everything. So even though my I just swell up from all that salt, <laughs> I, I always finish that meal very satisfied. Mm -hmm. And they're starting um, to do like all the specialty shakes too, so that doesn't suck either. It's not terrible. Uh, <laughs> Roth, what's your go-to water burger order? I have not had it enough to answer that question. I was in, so I was in Austin um, last President's Day. So what? President's Day is in February. I got I got mm -hmm. President's Day off work, so I was like, I'm gonna I'm gonna take Friday off and make it a four day weekend. Go down to Austin. Nice. I did get COVID on the way back. That was fun to have on an airplane. <laughs> Um, Happy President's Day. <laughs> yeah, but but we didn't we we went to Whataburger at probably like 10 30 at night and we waited probably about half an hour in the fast yes, food do. line. Um and by the time we got home it was kind of cold. So I I <laughs> I, I, I appreciate it. I, I I know that I just had a bad experience. So I don't know my go-to Whataburger order. I know the spicy ketchup's a big thing. Um yeah. I, I don't have an answer for go-to. <laughs> 
<laughs> I will <laughs> go ahead. So I got food poisoning from Whataburger like right before my 27th birthday. And for years, I just thought they were awful. But then I started giving them another chance. Mm-hmm. And it took a while. Like it took like five or six chances for them to like actually redeem themselves. So for a while, if people said, you know, Whataburger or another chain, I, don't, I would just immediately go to the other chain just mm-hmm. because of that. But I'm coming back. And now, <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. look, El Pollo Loco is good, right? But there's a lot of places that in Dallas you can get that kind of wood fire chicken. And I have to say, I'm I'm a trader to Texas in more ways than one. We've talked about the barbecue before. Whataburger is amazing. I could judge them on their breakfast tacos alone, and they would still. I didn't be- know. I didn't know what a burger was in the breakfast taco game, dude. But That's you impressive. have to, but then you, but you have to be up. Like it's kind of stupid. But yeah, <laughs> but yeah. I mean, the dude, it's like the unicorn. But yeah, I could judge them on that alone, and not even the burgers, because uh, I think there are better burgers out there. If Texas wants to cancel me, that's fine. But um, <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm gonna have to go water burger for sure. All right, we've got our twelve twenty one matchup now, and two places that I have. Also, never been to, unfortunately. Uh-oh. Jack in the Box, your 12 seed against <gasps> Del Taco, your 21. Oh, no. What? Why? Oh, man, that's a tough one. <laughs> I, I am relying fully on you guys. Look, I, I know what Jack in the Box has some, as they, they do burgers, right? But they also do like tacos. Yeah. That are um, like, yeah. Dude, they do 3 a.m. Somebody box tell me about Jack in the Box. Of mini tacos that's fully dressed, kind of like nachos. I like to call them tachos holy god <laughs> so good yeah 3 a.m those tacos i hate 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 taco shells but after a fun night you kind of forget that you hate them so much and you eat them and um, <laughs> the breakfast doesn't suck either so dude I mean, <laughs> man but del taco is really good also see it's, this is the problem that the, the the closest Del Taco and the closest Popeyes to me are right next to each other. And they're like 45 <laughs> minutes away. So if I'm driving by there, okay. I'm getting Popeyes. I'm not getting Del Taco. To I be fair, there. it's not 45 minutes away good. Okay. I don't know. But yeah, Jack in the Box, the breakfast sandwiches on the sourdough. Man, dude. Yeah. So good. And they have egg rolls. Like, where can you get egg rolls? <laughs> where can you get egg rolls, nacho cheese, potato wedges, and mini tacos at the same time while you're kind of buzzed? <laughs> Not I Del mean, Taco. I think they've kind of embraced that whole lifestyle of, you know, enjoying different activities. And what happens after you enjoy those activities? And it's paid it's off so dividends for them. <laughs> It has hey, definitely paid dividends. They know their target audience. Day. So, yeah. All right. So, is Jack in the Box moving on? Are you guys both voting for Jack in the Box? Yeah. Yep. All right. Jack in the Box moves on. And we uh, we go to who I was uh, referring to earlier um, as the possible Purdue in this game. Um, my least favorite of the big three, Burger King, the number five seed, against number 28 seed, Runza. Oh. Jeez Louise. I have would never you like okay, so... gonorrhea and herpes? <laughs> <laughs> so runs uh you guys have ne- neither one of you have had runza, right? runza. is so... runza what you get after you eat Burger King? But uh <laughs> <laughs> yes, but also so it's like uh I'm pretty I'm like 90% sure they're they're pretty much cabbage burgers. So what it is, it's it's a it's a pocket of bread. Filled with ground beef, cheese, and onions is your typical Runza sandwich. And it's fantastic. Crinkle cut fries. They're in Nebraska. They originated in Nebraska, I think Omaha. Um, it it's a is meat pocket. Yes, it's, it's, it's a meat pocket. And it is just absolutely huh. amazing. Anytime I'm driving to Kansas, see my dad, see my dad's other family. I go through Nebraska now and I stop and I get Runza. It's fantastic. Okay. So I, I don't know if I can sway you or not to vote it over Burger King. I don't know if you guys are big Burger <laughs> King fans. I, I used to go to Burger King a fair amount. They've dropped off, in my opinion, recently. They, they've got some stuff, with the Texas Whopper with the jalapenos. I'm a big jalapeno on my burger guy. 
that still kind of holds up. But uh, in my opinion, they've kind of they've kind of fallen off a little bit. The chicken fries were a fun little thing, but they're not that good. They're a little styrofoamy sometimes. I'm still stuck on your story from when you said just said I get runza. <laughs> it sounds like something that just doesn't agree with your body, you know. It Burger does King. freeze so well. <laughs> Burger King, I haven't had Burger King in years either. And there's one right up the street for me, but since I've never had runs, I, I guess it has to be Burger King by default. Is it, it doesn't is that have to be. You 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 can choose to <laughs> vote blindly <laughs> on Runza. And tell me why I'm I'm right. I mean, do I have a coin to flip? (laughs) Dude, (laughs) Melissa, any thoughts? There were people who don't eat candy corn in our last episode voting against candy corn on social media just because of what they'd heard. So if you wanted to pick Runza based on what Jacob's telling you, like, to be honest, the only thing I've eaten at Burger King in the last two years is an impossible whopper and mm. i would say 60 percent of the time it's cold i'm not a vegan but i like impossible burgers they taste it so i, I the price is right two for five but it's hardly when you see the 60 percent rate of it being hot it's like okay well two dollars and fifty cents is what i'm willing to pay for this because sometimes you know it's always hot or runs up not hot yeah <laughs> uh so I'm going to be that guy and I'm going to go for a meat pocket. I kind of want to taste it now. You know, you know, it's always going <laughs> to fuck your gut up. Runza. <laughs> so, you know what? I'm in. Let's do it. Let's go. Runza. All right. It's fun to say too. Upset. That makes it's me like your stomach after Runza. I, I, I won't <laughs> stand on the table again for it when it goes up against its next opponent, but You're I'm not just Tom happy Cruise that it, it I'm just happy that it, it made it through. The Jump night. on the sofa. Sick. I think we got Runza. <laughs> well as we move into our next um play-in game i've i haven't had either of these um i I think i already know who's gonna win this one but uh 31 seeds taco time and taco bueno taco time is a uh it's in the kind of north pacific northwest and utah um they're headquartered in arizona but they do not have any stores in arizona which i found to be weird Huh. Um, got some in Nevada. Yeah. So Taco Time versus Taco Bueno, Texas. Texas Taco Bueno is a Texas thing. Yeah. Yeah. Texas, Oklahoma, Arkansas, Arizona, maybe. Something like that. Yeah. Yeah. And Thoughts? they're against each other. Yes, they are to, uh, as a oh, play in. She's Luis. I think I already know what's going to happen. But because <laughs> I have you guys ever had Taco Time? Uh uh-uh. uh. Have you yeah, had Taco Time? Mm hmm. Oh, I see. I haven't had either one, so I'm, I'm leaving it up to you. I'm assuming Taco Bueno moves on and gets I into the tournament. Either. <laughs> either. All right, Melissa, <laughs> are, it, it, the power is in your hands to move Taco Listen, Bueno on. If you guys have had Taco Bell, Taco Bueno is like Taco Bell with superior beans. That's it. Okay, so the question is, which one uses real meat? Like not like beef, not horse meat. That's not, the winning factor. Horse in this economy. My God. I'm just saying. Both of them sound like they would use horse meat, you know? <laughs> All right. Taco Bueno moves on to uh, go up against number two seed, <laughs> Chick fil A. Oh, Chick fil A versus Taco Man's Bueno. Um, I love Chick fil A. Chick fil A uh, versus Taco Bueno? Yep. Yep. Their, their new pimento um, chicken sandwich is fantastic. It's. Sometimes it has a little weird texture thing. The the mix isn't quite right. Maybe I I don't know what it is, but it's still very delicious tasting. I had I had that sandwich huh. too. And it, was, it was lovely. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. What is the sandwich? It's a pimento oh. cheese on a on and like their honey. Chicken. Yeah, pimento yeah. cheese honey. That's right. Oh, that's weird. That's no, good. It's not um, lovely. Huh. Okay. I, I mean, I'm always down for some chicken strips and waffle fries with Chick-fil-A sauce and mm-hmm. lemonade. I have to see if I can make a sports. Is this like anybody versus Navy? Versus Navy. Yeah. Um, hmm. Is it? I mean, I sports? no, I, I'll <laughs> just <laughs> say that you, you did not. <laughs> Think of it like the movie Rudy. Taco Bueno is Rudy. He got to play for Notre Dame. Mm-hmm. And he just, in this case, you know, Taco Bueno's not going to win. 
Chick-fil-A is going to be the winner on this one. <laughs> I say that because I've never really seen Rudy either, but I've heard I've seen the pages. <laughs> I don't know if he wins, but, you know. Yeah. He, he gets uh, to play. I started I off wins, really yeah. strong, and then I just yeah. lost it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I'm voting All for right. Chick-fil-A as well. Melissa? I, I, I'll vote. have to go for Chick-fil-A, and I have a story. Okay. I... Gosh, I think I was in culinary school and my roommate at the time, we're still very, very close friends. She waited outside all night for the grand opening of a Chick-fil-A, a new Chick-fil-A near us in Austin. And she got nearly a year's worth of free chicken sandwich coupons. So when I tell you guys that we tried to figure out like, 85 different ways to eat a chicken sandwich because we were both broke. Uh, yeah, it was like, take it off, eat it with a fork and a knife. Like it's a steak, put the pickles on the side, try a different sauce, use the two buns to make a peanut butter. sandwich. Like it got really ridiculous. Um, so yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to vote for Chick-fil-A for keep me alive when I was 22. I like it. So yeah, it's good. I like it. <laughs> All good. right. So now we have our 1518 matchup. And I was actually talking to a Deucecast friend, Garrison Rifen, um, right. about actually about this matchup. Um, it's it's my favorite fast food chain of all time. Raising Canes taking on Bojangles. Oh no. Actually, I'm sorry. Wait. He was talking about Zaxby's, not ah! Bojangles. <laughs> uh, but it's still it, it is raising canes versus Bojangles. I have only had a Bojangles biscuit. My brother and his wife brought me brought it back when they were in South Carolina. I did not care for it. I'm not the biggest biscuit fan in the world. I know kind of a hot hot take, but um, I, I like biscuits and gravy. But it, I don't know, too almost too buttery for me, which is something I never thought I'd say. But uh, Raising Cane's is there's a location in Fort Collins, Fort the city of Fort Collins redid the main road in Fort Collins to account for raising canes traffic. Really? Because traffic was so backed up with people trying to get into raising canes during COVID. Wow. Fantastic chicken. I, they, look, they 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 do the kiss method. They keep it simple, stupid. They just do chicken fingers. <laughs> they just do fries and delicious lemonade and delicious tea. What say you, Steve? I'm just going to have to go with Bojangles. I've never had Bojangles, but... Oh. I'm looking at their menu and their food actually looks you better. You uh, hate Raising Canes. Well, hold Why? On. Hold on. I've oh. had Raising Canes and it was bland as it can be. Mm. Um, when I was working at one of my other stores, we had a Raising Canes pop-up. And those managers were so damn entitled to our parking lot that they told us that they had to have their customers park on our property because they had higher priority than us. And when I finally tried it again, I was very disappointed. They have crinkle cut fries, which just grossed me out for some reason, even though it's just a damn potato. Not only that, the main reason why I hate raising canes, I said hate is because they're, they support the Dallas Cowboys. <laughs> I went there as an Eagle, as a Philadelphia Eagles fan. I just disagree <laughs> with raising canes all around. <laughs> so even though I've never had Bojangles, Look, win that 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 last argument was uh, that was the most fair. That, that that's a fair reason to not like it. Honestly. If if somebody if there was a restaurant that was like we put our full support between this behind the CSU Rams, I'd be like, get lost. I'm never eating you. I am going to openly boycott you. Like it's it's not going to be pretty for you. Um, <laughs> Are they winning? The Texas toast at Raising Cane's is so good. <laughs> Melissa, what do you think? Raising Cane's or Bojangles? Man, it's really hard because a Bowberry biscuit is really, really good. And I waited forever to try Bojangles because there weren't any in Texas mm -hmm. for a long time. But dude, if you split the Texas toast open and you put the tender in it with the coleslaw and the cane sauce. Sorry, Steve. Like... <laughs> It's so good. It's not. It's so whatever location you went to was really angry because they could tell you were an Eagles fan. Um, actually, so fun fact: uh, we close at noon on Thanksgiving, and one year one of the managers came 
right two minutes before we close, we stopped letting people in. He goes, I demand you let me shop here. And we said, no, we're, we close in two minutes. He goes, you don't understand. I'm a manager at Raising Cane. <laughs> I don't do this shit. You're still not coming in. This does not sway me to want to enjoy Raising Cane's. Sorry. I, I'm going to go on a rant now. So this is going to be a three hour long episode. <laughs> <laughs> Look, that's I there's nothing I can do to like this is a deep rooted hatred and I feel bad for you. Yeah. Because raising canes is just it's I will so drive good. to Fort Collins just to get raising canes. <laughs> yeah. I braved 55 mile an hour winds just to get raising canes on the way back. It the wind blew my tunnel cover off. And it was that worth it. What? That's what? some dedication. So like on a pickup bed, I've got like oh. a it's like a tarp that you like Put on there, and the wind was so strong that it literally blew. Ah, it got it. And Sorry, it girl. Out. Question. No, that's all right. <laughs> um, what was the team that you said you hated? CSU Rams. Did you know that Raising Cane supports the CSU Rams? <laughs> you know, they know probably you do it, because I just googled it. It's. it's on, I put it on Facebook, so therefore it's true now. <laughs> there is a large possibility that they they're probably a sponsor of CSU because Raising Canes and Fort Collins is like a top three bestseller Raising for like Canes all of the cane stores. Really awful. Um, <laughs> it, it's a possibility. I'm I'm choosing to overlook it only because Wyoming is currently beating CSU ten to seven. <laughs> I try. I try. Okay. All right. It's a good thing you're here because it would have just been fifty fifty. Now we have. You know. <laughs> yep. 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 Um, all right. <laughs> Uh, Raising Canes moves on. Moving on to our next matchup, Arby's against Church's Chicken. We do not have a Church's... We, well, we technically have a Church's Chicken here in Cheyenne. But I've been living here for three years now, and it has been closed. But their sign still reads the same, and they still have all of their furniture in, in there, and they just haven't done anything with it. Ross, so did you miss the rapture? I guess, or <laughs> they just got called early. I don't know what happened, <laughs> but it's it's very weird. The building's just not in use. I'm like, there's other churches, chickens places. I'm sure you could take some of that furniture that's probably really nice compared to some other stores and put it there or like their ovens. Like I'm like, this is crazy. Um, what? Arby's is a place that I like and waves. Sometimes I'll have it. I'm like, great, great. And then I'll have it one time. I'll be like, I can tell that this roast beef is pretty much plastic and I'm not a fan and I'll go like a couple months without going back. Thoughts on Arby's versus church's chicken. Melissa, go ahead. All right. Church's chicken. I grew up with it. Uh, one within walking distance of the house. Interestingly enough, um, we would drive through it after church from time to time, which is the absolute worst time to go. Um, despite what the name of Checks it is, out. because you cannot like the weight is just insane. Uh, really, really, really like the breading on their chicken way more than Popeye's and the biscuits are better in my opinion. Right. However, I have to go back to a young Melissa time where Arby's had the five for five. Mm -hmm. And I used to buy the five roast beef sandwiches for $5 when I was young in Poe. And, um, I would freeze, I would cool them down and freeze them in the wrapper and I nice. would eat for a week <laughs> nice. for $5. So yeah, dude, the horsey sauce. I was going to say, the, horsey sauce, Arby sauce is also very good. Dude, that, the meat mountain, unparalleled. Mm -hmm. um, the hash brown, the triangular hash brown, mm -hmm. dude, and the chocolate shake. You know what my mom's a big fan of is their gyro. I didn't even know they had that. Mm -hmm. What? Mm -hmm. What? I was a fan of that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, then. I will say I, too, partook in the five for five because <laughs> I was a butt in this fat piece of shit. In the <laughs> and um, their food what, did also kind of have like that styrofoam texture mm -hmm. and whatnot, and I still didn't care because mm -hmm. I was more about like stuff in my bunch face. Of haters. Mm -hmm. but the bun is so good. <laughs> Just chicken. Also, grew. Well, I grew up with that more than Arby's. I don't think I even had an Arby's down where I grew up. But uh, Church's chicken, their seasoning was good. Their crust is legit. I wasn't a coleslaw person, but I did have it from time to time. And of course, their biscuits. So I think I'm gonna have to go with Church's on this one. Bummer. That means I gotta Probably. break the tie. 
<laughs> I, uh, Please, you know, yes. I, coleslaw is one of those things that I've never had. I, when I was a kid, it just kind of grew. I, I didn't like the idea of it. It's coleslaw and pumpkin pie. Never had pumpkin pie. I know. Okay. I, I'm going to well, try to change that. This year. Don't put them together. No, I won't. I, I'll try not to. <laughs> Jacob, Josh, it's like I don't even know you anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I got to go with Arby's. They are, um, I, they've got very good cookies as well, which I think is, they've got a, like a Reese's peanut butter cookie, which is pretty darn good. Um, when they first rolled them out, they would come out hot and like nice and gooey. Since then, they, they're not hot and gooey, but I just bring them home and I pop in the microwave for like five seconds. Um, they're like chocolate chip. Maybe it's, is it a salted caramel chocolate chip cookie that they have? Um, and the Reese's one. Um, so I, I I'm going Arby's. All right. I'm then. not disappointed in that decision. I mean, it's a tough <laughs> one. It really is. That's it's a tough one. It is. Okay. So now we move on to our seven and 26 seed matchups. KFC is our number seven seed Kentucky fried chicken. The Colonel himself going up against Number 26, Taco John's. I don't know if you guys are familiar with Taco John's or not, but it was actually founded in Wyoming. It's a, it's a, I think it's a pretty national chain, maybe not everywhere, but uh, they are actually the copyright holders to Taco Tuesday. Little what? fun fact for you. Really? Mm-hmm. Have either of you guys had Taco John's? No. No. Okay. Um, so Taco John's <laughs> big thing is a potato ole, which is just a, um, tater tot just but in their circles um and just like, tater like little, coins little discs yeah tater coins they're very salty but they're very good um they, they put them in a lot of their burritos have them taco john's is a place that i loved but i my love has swayed on it for the past probably two years it's gone downhill a little bit but i think that's just because they're super short staffed like everywhere is um they they used to have very good churros. They got rid of the full like foot long churro, but now they've got like little churro bites that are still pretty good. And they got some Mexican donuts as well. Um, Taco John's versus KFC. You you, Steve, you guys decide. I, I won't Steve, stand on the table. Me on Taco Steve. John's. And I've never even had the damn. Steve, wait, Steve. <laughs> I, I mean, Steve, wait. <laughs> Steve, what's a Mexican donut? Go. How else should I know? Just because my eyes are question. Dogs. Come on. I mean, they're well, just not. many. They're just many <laughs> sepapillas. Yeah, I was gonna say. Yeah, I imagine yeah. it's just you know dunked in cinnamon sugar. Yeah, maybe some yeah. honey on top. That does sound pretty good though. He, you are swaying me on this one. Good breakfast as well. Good, good breakfast. I, I will say KFC does have their eleven secret mystery herbs mm-hmm. and <laughs> or spices and all that kind of shit, and their mashed potatoes are probably powdered. Um. So I'm gonna have to say, you're swaying me to uh, what the hell is it called? Taco John's, you said. Yep, Taco, Taco John's. John's. Uh, yeah, let's try that one. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Melissa, what do you think? I haven't made a vote yet for the record. Oh, jeez. All right, so, um, KFC and me got beef, like pun intended. Um, I really, really like the fact that I can get a Pepsi, a pot pie, and a cookie. For like five dollars mm-hmm. plus tax, but dude, this one time when I was a little kid, I ordered the pot pie like three times in a row. We went went out there to eat, and I found a hair in it every time, like a different hair, a different hair. How does that happen? And they also I took the chocolate, it was, dude. Sure they took the chocolate parfait. <laughs> they took the chocolate parfait off the menu. It was really sad. Um, yeah, and every time I go there, they mess up my order. So I, you're you can talk me into this potatoes in a burrito thing because mm-hmm. i'm down for it yeah like, it's not that dissimilar to like a california style burrito right where they put the french fries in it um but they're just saltier and a bit crunchier i like it they, they do a very good job of frying up frying them up they're, they're not super yeah, mushy potato coins and, and kept yeah. them salty yeah <laughs> for real for real you had me so, at mexican and then you you, All right, you there we go. I, I'll, I'll vote for Taco Donut. John's as well. Is, <laughs> is that a full sweep for Taco John's, even though Let's two-thirds go. hasn't it's seen like it? <laughs> <Yeah>. my, <laughs> my local stuff is moving on. I, I'm I'm Let's kind of impressed. Um, all right, so our final play-in matchup here um, for the 30 seed. Um, two places that I have never been to 
Um, <laughs> one of them is original Tommy's world famous hamburgers, um, which I guess does some sort of chili burger thing as well. Um, going up against <laughs> Arctic Circle. Um, Arctic Circle originated in Utah. Some interesting stuff I found about them. They're the self-proclaimed originator of fry sauce and the first burger chain to invent and sell the kids' meal. They are most well-known for their huckleberry shakes. Hmm. Huh. I just um, want to know, if Tommy's is world famous, why the hell have I never heard of them? That's a very good question. <laughs> they're, they're primarily a California chain. Um... I think they've got some locations in other places, um, but yeah, prime, prim, like Nevada, maybe someone Oregon Fucking and Washington. Um, the chili cheese fries, and they put uh, they'll do like an open faced chili burger from the research that I found. Hmm. I have also I've I've I haven't had either of these, so this may be a flip of the coin. Well, I. Uh... I'm trying to do my research at the very last second and because I don't prepare for this kind of shit. Um, and I will <laughs> say Arctic Circle, even though you're trying to find their menu, there's nothing popping up. Okay. Tommy's original world famous burgers automatically pops up with burgers. So actually it kind of looks like a Freddy steak burger too. So I'm going to have to go with Tommy's. <laughs> Melissa, what do you think? A redemption. <laughs> <laughs> Legitimately, like, do I own a coin? Hold on. <laughs> I'm my phone and I, I, I microphones and laptops. I and found stuff. one. Like, no, for real. I was gonna say I've I've got like a guardian angel coin here, but it's the same on both sides, so that's not really gonna do us anything any good. <laughs> okay, it, it 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 says Tommy's. That's where we're going. Okay. That sounds good. Uh, uh, original Tommy's world famous hamburgers moves on to play <laughs> into the tournament. I have to go but find one. Unfortunately, this is going up against Yakiero Taco Bell. Number three seed Taco Bell against number 30 seed Crunch Rat. Original Tommy's Crunch world famous Crunch hamburgers. Rat. Crunch Rat. Talk to That's... me about do you guys have love for Taco Bell? No. I do. <laughs> I have honest. It's not love. It's lust, Roth. <laughs> um, it's like two in the morning. What's still open? Oh my God. Yes. Baja Blast Crunchwrap. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that. It's sad. Well, I, I had Taco you... Bell on Easter Sunday this year. Okay. <laughs> that's awesome. Want to talk about pathetic? I know. Oh, that's yeah. great. Oh, yeah. That's People fantastic. Last time I had Taco Bell was when we were in culinary school. <laughs> no. <laughs> Decades like, ago. The last time I had Tommy's <laughs> old original famous whatever burgers was also I've never had that. So it's exactly <laughs> three <laughs> minutes ago via <laughs> Ooh. Look, what about you, Russ? So Taco Bell, I love Taco Bell. It's uh it it's fantastic. I, I know that maybe it's not the highest quality Mexican food that I have. I, I think um it, it goes under the radar a little quick aside that colorado and wyoming um have very good mexican food um i, I i've been to tex-mex places in uh, in texas um i i think it's it's tex-mex is probably better like in texas but i think we've got a pretty good um flow of mexican food here and the, the best mexican restaurant i've ever been to is in steamboat springs i still love taco bell We've talked about the bang for your buck that you get from Taco Bell that from many different places. And that's definitely a thing for Taco Bell as well, especially ordering off that cheap menu. The breakfast is super underrated at Taco Bell. They just came out with some breakfast tacos that are pretty darn good. Um, they've got a breakfast crunch wrap. That's good. The Cinnabon little donut holes that you get, get for breakfast. Very good. Um, this is going to be the like 12 year old gamer coming out in me, but Taco Bell serves Mountain Dew as well, and a Baja Dude, Blast is. I was great. waiting for that. I have been <laughs> waiting for that. <laughs> Taco Bell and Mountain Dew. Yeah. I, I think it's one hundred percent fair to say somebody out there won't like this, but well, it's true. It doesn't matter if they like it or not. Tex-Mex and Mexican are not the same thing. No. no so, no. I I love Tex-Mex. 
And I like Mexican food too. I like interior Mexican food, like wrapping your stuff in banana leaves, like different, it's completely different flavor profiles, you know, like, right. Um, but dude, there's something happens when you go to the West side of the United States and you are able to get green and red chili on stuff. Mm -hmm. Like that's a magical thing. Yeah. The, um, the, so pork yeah. green chili smother burrito is a, Big Colorado thing. I think it may have been so invented good. in Colorado, and it it's so good right now. Fantastic. Um, but yeah, we, I have a lot of really ridiculous love for Taco Bell. I mean, stupid amounts I, of love. I feel <laughs> like their ground beef is used gym mats from Taco Bell. <laughs> That's Subway. The bread, the the bread from Subway. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> too, yeah. <laughs> and we'll get to that on a little bit later. Do you think but they I, formed like an unholy union, and they were like, "You guys, you have to where it's at." <laughs> It's how we save I money. Feel like if I just it, and I apologize for being so uh, detailed, but I feel like if I just want to bend over and paint a wall, then I would eat Taco Bell. <laughs> you I, have I, to pregame a little. You gotta. We went over this at the beginning. We went over this. At least have right? some, some Milwaukee's best. Come these, on, man. These well, I'll call them stomach issues. Um, <laughs> don't affect <laughs> me with the fast food stuff. Like I can eat Taco Bell and have. Um, I, I can continue to be rich. <laughs> so it doesn't affect me. <laughs> we oh, all don't have geez, iron please. cuts like you, sir. I know. I know. It, it's look, it's 28 years of eating absolute garbage. But well, it works for me. It's conditioning. <laughs> yeah. is what it is. Like I'm going to have to go with the non world famous, the world famous <laughs> I've never heard of. That's going to be my vote. Okay. And I'm probably going to be the one, only one. But Melissa, I have you've to got Taco that Bell. Kindness. Oh, I've Taco Bell all the way. Like the cinnamon twist alone. Mm. The cinnamon twist and the code red. Like there's nothing go. quite like a cardboard flavored cinnamon thing that's still <laughs> so good. Like it, it's seriously like the consistency of like a like really old like weathered cardboard. But it's it's it's, it's like if you like buy if like you, the good. I was going to say, I feel like if you touch it, like your hands is going to be drenched in grease. And no matter how much you'd like wash your hands, it's still going to be greasy. See, that's what you think, but it's dry enough to pull all the saliva out of your mouth. And then <laughs> it's like if was... you buy the off brand Lucky Charms, it's, it's like, uh, <laughs> you know, nifty baubles or whatever the frick it's called. And it could rip the roof of your mouth off, but still taste mm -hmm. cinnamony and amazing, like a hug. It's like that that's taco bell all the way man yeah <laughs> all right so taco bell. taco bell moves on um uh, we go to the 14 19 seed matchup two regional juggernauts i think there's lots of people that ride really hard for both of these it's the number 14 seed culvers against number Ooh. 19 seed in and out oh oh my god <laughs> yeah. i quit i quit. and again this is top 25 so this is actually like I quit. best this is just how it fell on sales. I quit. Okay. It is a very tough one because Culver's is awesome and they have mushroom Swiss burgers, but in and out has animal style. So I always go every chance I get to eat in and out. I usually take, I will go with a four by four animal style, animal fries Culver's. They're pretty good, but my my loyalty is with in and out Culver's has the cheese that are very good. They've got the concrete mixers, um, oh, yeah, which yeah. I, I think would be, in my opinion, are on an equivalent plane as the Blizzard. Um, maybe not quite as good, but they're in the same tier, I think. Um, my vote is for Culver's. Melissa, I'm going to put it up to you. God. I'm so they, sad about they this. They butter their buns before they Put them Dude, on the grill. I'm so sad about this. So when the first in and out came to the Dallas area, my family and I waited in the drive through for nearly an hour mm. to get it. It was mm -hmm. like a pictures, like a situation. Mm -hmm. But when I lived in Austin, I was within walking distance of a Culver's. Let me tell you, you take that double butter burger and you put the fried cheese curds on it. And they squeak while you eat them, <laughs> and you get you get a caramel marshmallow concrete, mm. and then you take a nap. 
like all your so, shirts are legit. So, so torn right now. Yeah, but in In and Out, you can get a Neapolitan shake, and it's really good. that's true too. <laughs> so you, you beat me to that. I'm I was so so I, that. I've only had In and Out once. It was in it was south of Salt Lake City. Um, I'm so sad about, and this. it was it was fine. I I I think I, I need to try it again with my 28 year old ele- elevated here's, palate. Here's the thing: when we go to Dallas. We used to stop at In N Out and Whataburger because that's what my wife wanted. And I had In N Out. And I would catch her dunking her Whataburger fries into my animal style fries. <laughs> so, can you explain to maybe somebody that doesn't know what animal style yeah, is? What, what yeah, it yeah, is? Oh, oh, yeah. So, the animal, like they, the animal style fries, like, or animal style period, that's when they like just really cook down their onions to where they're just dark golden brown i feel like i'm gonna start getting like into one of those dirty movies <laughs> golden brown onions. It's like we're, we're listening to like one of those like brings snuff. out to sweetness with some sugar mm. but then they also do like the thousand island and all that kind of stuff mm-hmm. and there's something magical about it now i don't like thousand island i don't like pickles but when you add that cheese and the the onions and all that stuff together it's magic it's crack. It's crack magic. Okay. And so that's me. That's how okay. I interpret it. All right. So I think it's a well-known fact that unless you order the the fries well done at In N Out, they suck. Um so on the basis of fry quality alone, I have to vote for Culver's. Wow. I See, have I, to vote for wow. here's, here's, here's another yeah. thing that I am finding out about chef steven gonzalez is he's not a crinkle cut fry i think he voted against crinkle cut fries <laughs> yeah, yeah. all the time i love <laughs> but cr- crinkle cut fries are my number one dude a crinkle cut fry is like the potato it's, equivalent of a rigatoni it holds more sauce adds grooves it's a it still has a potato taste i know i <laughs> i have issues deep seated from my childhood about crinkle cut fries and i don't know what where they stem from <laughs> That's all right. That's we've sad. we've all got them. We've all got those things called issues. <laughs> I remember when I was back at the grandma's house. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> all right, our uh, number uh, Culver's moves on. Thanks to Melissa. Uh, moving on to our eleven twenty two <laughs> matchup. Now, um, our eleven seed is that one that I uh, referred to. Long time was not a fast food chain, but they have really kind of moved to a fast food, mm. pretty much style. And I would say ninety percent of the Panda Expresses I see are fast food restaurants. Um, so our 11 seed Panda Express going against number 22 checkers and or rallies, which I also combined into one, just like Carl's Jr. and Hardy's. I don't know what those are. Man, checkers and rallies are, are legit. They're good. Ooh. See, I've never had it either. So I'm, I'm, I'm I've open. had it Where? a couple times and I liked it. Okay, what Excuse is it? Me. So... Excuse they're me. burgers. What's that? Thank you. Yeah. Excuse so me. They're bur- I know I'm getting like I'm starting to burp because I'm thinking about just like how good it is. It's like, good for clipped. <laughs> He's like so, checkers. I, I know, right? So checkers, <laughs> like their burgers are almost in someone's gonna kill me for this, but I would almost compare them like it's like a mixture between like crystal burger and um uh we were just talking about it. Shit. Uh in and out Culver's? No, uh, no, no, no. Before that, original, uh, oh, you're thinking of original Tommy's world famous hamburgers. No, I, <laughs> right. yeah, the world famous, <laughs> the world famous. <laughs> Dang it. Uh, it's, I mean, they're burgers, they're flavorful. They, they add like MSG or something to it because there's something about them where you're just like, oh my God, I have to have more. And like you take one bite, it's okay. It's almost like a mixture between Crystal and, and Carl's Jr. Sorry, that's where that's where okay. I was going. I was on the tip okay. of my tongue, but yeah, it's almost like they put something in there to where you just like one bite's just not enough, and then like you just kind of want to shovel all that into your mouth. Their fries, they're it's like they use like a different kind of seasoning, but it just it just goes well. It's not Cajun, but like it's almost like something okay. along those lines, you know. And not making that convincing it. case that you think you are. What's that? <laughs> you're, not, you're not making the argument that you think you are. You're like, I don't remember the seasoning. It's like Cajun, but not. <laughs> well, I know, right? I, it's just it's awesome. <laughs> jumbo shrimp over here. You know? <laughs> but like 
They also have strips. They got wings. Wings, of all things. Yeah, I'm rhyming. Yeah, unintentionally. <laughs> the hot dogs, their fish burgers are, are the shit. And even their famous seasoned fries. You know, they've got the mozzarella sticks, the chili cheese fries. Anytime you get a chili cheese fry or the fully loaded fries, I have it's like a chocolate chip cookie. I have to have it. It could be the shittiest chocolate chip cookie in the world, but I have to have it. I don't know. I don't know. Are you a dough or a hard chocolate chip cookie guy? I I like my chocolate chip dough Mm -hmm. raw, Mm -hmm. as raw as you can get it. I will eat that too. But yeah, rallies are are awesome. Now this is where I'm gonna pull a wild card, even though I really like rallies. I'm gonna have to go with Pan Express because I can eat the shit out of some Pan Express. Yeah, yeah. Everything I just said is a lie. Lies. But, no, I mean like Pan Express is just good. It's like you know the stereotypical Americanized Chinese mm-hmm. food, you know. And yeah, you can't go wrong with that. It's like pre-frozen fried rice that you know it's not really even fried, but still you know satisfies. They have the rice cooker there. You can watch them do it in the walk. I don't know why I'm. De- I don't know why I'm defending Panda E right now, because I don't know what a rally is. But here we are. <laughs> yeah, I've been on a big Panda Express kick recently. I saw um, that. I, I, I it's saw finally kind of coming to a close. I think hopefully, um, but it would be like twice a week where I'd be like, I'm going to Panda. Ugh. I'm gonna get. They they came out like their shrimp. Like it was. I can't remember what they called it, but it was a little bit spicy again with the orange chicken, and they just came out with their first dessert which is a an apple pie egg roll and it's fantastic mm. um i'm a big panda express fan <laughs> i do like panda express yeah I, it's it's funny you talked about like this taco bell like you have an iron gut and kind of indestructible like you can eat as much um mm-hmm. taco bell without any repercussions but dude i too will go through these like panda express just phases where like i'm on a kick and i have to have it i'll order it like three or four times in a week right mm-hmm. but dude my feet will swell <laughs> so <laughs> much that my shoes will leave marks on my feet the freaking oh, no. sodium is just crazy i don't see how uh, that's a bad thing <laughs> <laughs> so uh dude but really i mean it's delicious like the orange chicken mm-hmm. alone is just Mm-hmm. It's really good. So sesame chicken. Yeah. I gotta go. Oh, it's so good. I gotta go Panda Express. Mm-hmm. All right. Panda Express moves on in the clean sweep. Um our, <laughs> our final matchup of the first round. Um I, I think the rest will go a little bit faster, so we won't have to um go I'm into soliloquies about them all. I am Don't too. Speed it up. Okay. <laughs> we're good with it. Yeah. <laughs> We've got our number six seed, Sonic. Taking on a place that I've never been to, but boy, oh boy, do I want to go. Number 27 seed, Cookout. I've never been to Cookout. I've never well, heard of Cookout up until yeah. recently. Okay. But, I mean, you got to look at their menu. Sonic mm-hmm. is legit. Like, their slushies are good, and they're always coming off, uh, coming out with, like, all these different fries and, and all sorts of burgers and hot dogs and chili dogs and shit like that. And it's really good. It's simple and it's awesome. But looking at the cookout menu, you can get a BLT sandwich, which is unusual for you can fast get that food. at Sonic too. Can you really? Yeah. I just have uh, I guess it, I'm not I guess it just don't look hard enough. I'm always looking at it like everything else. And then you You're have like, like the combination. Ooh. You have their hot dogs or quesadillas. I know Even where can looking. you go get a hot hot dog, a quesadilla, a hamburger, barbecue? It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> and then you get you can get a barbecue sandwich a barbecue plate you can't get that at sonic i i don't hear a rebuttal you're right look the, the, <laughs> the, the, the argument i'll make for sonic is that they have pretty darn elite <laughs> drinks right so yeah. like you can get like like uh i usually do uh cherry limeade um or a i think it's a cherry no a strawberry limeade Mm-hmm. They put like the frozen. I'm sure they were frozen, but the like strawberry chunks at the bottom. You can try to suck them up through the straw. Um, so... Elite drinks, and you can, you can, if you're really thirsty, you can get that root 44 sized. Oh, um, 44 ounces. So <laughs> I'm a Sonic alumni. Uh, mm-hmm. I worked a second job at Sonic. 
um, in my early 20s. And dude, my go-to is a half sweet, half unsweet tea with two pumps of grape. Like it's underrated. Um, but one thing that you should know about Sonic. So my good friend and a supporter of the show, Nate Pruitt, he also answered cookout on Instagram on the, the question that I posted in the stories. But uh, I've never been there. And I'm like, yeah, you can't get barbecue at Sonic, but the inside of a Sonic is probably, besides where I work now, the cleanest place I've ever worked in. I shit you not. That's good. That's good to know. Huge, huge cleanliness, like high standards, super important. But I would, I would go with Sonic alone just for the fact of like, they work in roller skates, dude. That's true. Um, let me read you. If, if you get a tray for five ninety nine, <laughs> you get a small burger, two chicken strips, two corn dogs, BLT sandwich, one hot dog, and one quesadilla. Or what? for six ninety nine, I think you get all of this. What? <laughs> Big double burger, regular quarter. No, that can't be. What? How does? How do these trays work? Does anybody know? Because it says choose one. Five ninety nine. Okay. Oh, maybe that's just each one. But they're super cheap, is what I've heard right, about right, them. Right, and you right, get right. you can get like a hot dog, a quesadilla, a hamburger, and something else for like under twelve dollars. What is this food for ants? I know, but <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know what to vote here because I've never had cookout, but it's so intriguing to me. Are we about to vote this through because we're? I don't know intrigued i mean we can't we have to there we're, we're at a know. point of no return where we just said we have to vote for it so kind of feel sonic like... has a good hatch green chili burger i'll oh. say that um they're probably not real hatch green chilies but like i said i like peppers on my burger they they're not hatch but they are the chopped like yeah they're the generic i think they it's call the it the same chopped yeah. chilies that in yeah. and out puts on their burgers yeah. so, i mean man Ugh. What's everybody voting for? My freaking quesadilla, dude. Cookout. Cookout. All right. <laughs> cookout right. moves on. I love it. None of us have been there, but it's the menu is so intriguing it's and so big. Reputation alone. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. We're moving into round two here. Uh, we've got McDonald's going up against um, 17 seed Hardee's slash Carl's Jr. What do we think, Stephen? You 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 wrote the hardest for Carl's Jr. Let's hear it. Ooh, that's and they a take tough down one. McDonald's. McDonald's has a McGriddle though. That's that's my entire argument. You know, oh, mm -hmm. <laughs> Carl's Jr. is pretty damn good though. Oh, I man, my arteries can only get so clogged. But ooh. Man, I, I don't even I don't think I've ever had breakfast from Carl's or Hardy's. But McDonald's breakfast is pretty legit. I remember in culinary school eating McDonald's pretty much every day after school because it was cheap and it got there, me food as well. So, so Steve and I went to culinary school together and there was one right up the road. <laughs> remember after we saw Super Size Me, we ate there like all the time? <laughs> yeah, opposite effect. Okay, yes, we we all watch Super Size Me's like a group of oh, five or six people. You know what? Ordered as much McDonald's as we could buy. It was great. <laughs> I'm going to have to stick with McDonald's again, the McGriddle. Mm -hmm. Enough said. Coffee, McGriddle. Yeah, done. Mm. Lessa, what do you think? I, I, I also have to go with McDonald's. We'll just do like uh, the Big Mac alone. Yeah. Iconic. Double quarter pound of cheese. Very Dude. good. Like I said, during Lent, Flayo fish. Get two of Dude, those things. It's so good. Oh, oh yeah. So good. But but the fillet of fish has gone the way of little Debbie in the way that like it just the keeps getting smaller and used smaller. To be the size of my face. <laughs> and the bun just keeps getting bigger and bigger. Yeah. You're and like, now oh, they put like okay. They put a weird amount of cheese on it. Yeah. Like it's like half a slice of cheese. It used to be like a legit craft single. Yeah. But now um, it's like they like tear yeah. the craft single in half and like there's two flail fishes the tartar sauce is always like piping hot 
but it's still good. I was gonna say I'm not a big it's... fan of hot tartar sauce, but no. yeah, you're right. It doesn't <laughs> no. suck. Yeah. 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 You're like, yeah, I, I'm not huge on warm mayo, but like they're on to something. <laughs> <laughs> As long as it's um, lit. All right, McDonald's moves on. I'm voting for all McDonald's right. as well. Um, Dairy Queen, number nine seed, going up against 25 seed White Castle. Can it continue uh, its Cinderella run here after beating eight seed Popeyes? Can I use one word again to mm-hmm. solidify my pick? Blizzard. Mm-hmm. That's all I, yeah. Steak White fingers. Castle's good, but they don't have blizzards. Steak fingers. Dipping chicken fingers into gravy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And the um flame burger, whatever they call it. I the had the name thrower. earlier. The flame flamethrower. Flame yep, the flamethrower. <laughs> yeah. So good. What whatever that like hot sauce is they put on it is just <laughs> delectable. D-Q. All right. Yes. This is gonna be a tough one. Number four seed Wendy's. Number 13 seed Whataburger. Oh. Who comes out on I'm going to leave it to the Texas people to, to to make their decisions first. What do you think, Melissa? This Wendy's versus Whataburger? Mm-hmm. I'm still super mad about having to choose between Culver's and In-N-Out. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, dude. I, Dude, it's Wendy's for the Frosty and the Chili. I... I'm going to hate myself regardless. Either way, like they're both super delicious and super affordable and they're super <laughs> awesome. Oh, it's not fair. It's not. I'm going to have to go with Whataburger. Oh, no. You just like putting me in a position <laughs> to break the tie. And it, it's, I, I feel like it's so unfair because I've, I've, I've maybe I've had Come on, Wyoming. less than five times. <laughs> Look, Wendy's does. The, the I think the only knock on Wendy's is that sometimes they get too crazy with their burgers and they stink. So like the the whatever the pub burger was that was pretty good. There this new nacho burger is <laughs> awful. They gave it to me by accident one time and I was having the worst day, and it just w- piled on top of it. And I like took a bite and I was like maybe it'll be all right. And it was just it wasn't good. Um, but that's like the only <laughs> knock when, when you stick to the classics, whether it's your baconator, your like big bacon, classic, your mm-hmm. chicken nuggets, like it's excellent. So even I'm the junior bacon, even oh, yeah. like five the, of them, oh. the, or we haven't even talked about the biggie bag, like the $4, $5 biggie bag where you get a few things and yeah. But you can customize so many different things with Whataburger. Like, yeah, I mean, you can customize yeah. at Wendy's too, but I yeah. feel like you have more options with Whataburger. Okay. I, I I have to put Wendy's through because I'm just not <laughs> my most recent <laughs> Whataburger experience. Just I that's what I it's reputation and most recent experience. And I just I got to put Wendy's through. Unfortunately, I'm sorry, Texas people that are listening. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry, Texas me. people. I'm, I'm that always away. like Texas. I picked it. I picked it out over Whataburger. So yeah, I I'm with you with apologizing. Not actually, no, I'm not sorry about that. One. <laughs> Never apologize. <laughs> I'm, All I'm right, our <laughs> our last matchup of the left hand side of our bracket here: um, Jack in the Box against a, another Cinderella in a local Nebraska chain. The pocket of meat Runza. Jack in the Box versus Runza. Like I said. If Jack in the Box wins, I'm going to be all right with it. But my vote would technically be for Runza. If I eat too much Jack in the Box, I get the Runzas. Get the runzas. But, um, <laughs> so low-hanging fruit. I was like, please say it or I'm going to. Yeah, I, we'll use that joke until it's just dead. Until yeah. Runza's out of the tournament. <laughs> so yeah, do you want the joke to end? Quick, the joke is dead. Kick it. Kick it. Kick it harder. Right. I'm sticking with my Jack in the Box. Melissa? I, I I have to vote for a huge box of tacos that are dressed like nachos. Tachos. Look, it's fair. It's very fair. I, I wish I had a Jack in the Box closer because tachos sound fantastic. Dude, I wish you did too because you can also get egg rolls with sweet and sour sauce in the same drive through That's amazing. Oh, God, That's so like a cookout good. type of thing. Sounds like. <laughs> so yeah. 
<laughs> so good. All right, the battle of chicken on the Let's top right hand side of our chicken. bracket. Chef Stephen Gonzalez's favorite restaurant, Raising Cane's, going up against God's favorite restaurant. <laughs> going up against the hashtag Blessed Jesus Chicken. <laughs> I feel that if Chick Fil A supported the Dallas Cowboys, they would not tell the world because they know that I would be very upset with them. And that's why I'm picking Chick Fil A. I'm going to throw my vote in right now for Raising Cane's. <laughs> Melissa, <laughs> I there's uh, fighting words. So <laughs> okay, um, that's really really hard. One of my fa- one of the okay, Canes doesn't have as many options, and one of my favorite things about Raisin Canes is the sauce. But like Chick Fil A has like eight great sauces mm-hmm. and a better ice cream cone than most fast food places, even though it's ice cream. Just not really. Let's think about the drive through. What about the frosted lemonade? Oh, shit. Yeah, you're right. Oh, peaches. I know. I also think like during lunchtime, you're in and out with Chick fil A. They've just got it down. That's true. They, they, yeah. If I had to vote on service alone, but I, but I'm not voting on service alone. It's it's the whole package, package service included. It's, I, I would say their their lemonades are a wash because Canes has good lemonade as well. They do. And so if I have to put everything else out of the picture and go on bread alone, um, Chick Fil A has this like bagel breakfast sandwich that is probably the most god awful bagel ever. So then if I went to the biscuit, it's like okay, the chicken biscuit minis are really really stupendous, but not the best fast food biscuit I've ever had. So Canes has like the best toast. Fast food toast I've ever had. So I got to go with Canes. That's it. Wow. I That's love it. it. Look, I I love Chick-fil-A. But I've never driven 45 minutes just for <laughs> I feel like Canes is going to be the Cinderella of this tournament. <laughs> Steve's going to quit the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> we made it four episodes with a co-host, and you had this moron from Wyoming no, on, and you ran off as a co-host. <laughs> I, I feel it. like y'all are conspiring against me. I have now. Let's Maybe. look at some of these previous picks. <laughs> Maybe. All right. Number 26. Uh, speaking of morons from Wyoming, Taco John's um, taking on Arby's. They've got the meats. Do they have enough meats to take down Wyoming's own Taco John's? Melissa, what do you think? Horsey sauce for the win. I have to go with Arby's on this one. Curly fries. As of right now, this minute, I would also go Arby's. Three Somebody else ago. would have come up with Taco Tuesday. Somebody else would have come up with it. Come on. <laughs> I mean, that's come true, on. but <laughs> would they have copyrighted it? I don't know. <laughs> it don't matter. Oh, man. All right, man. This is these are these most mostly been very tough matchups. This is another one. Taco Bell, number three seed against 14 seed Culver's. Culver's! Oh, Culver's, dude. Wow. It, was that a vote for Culver's, Melissa? Yes. Say yes. Wow, okay. Yes. I'll, 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 I'll throw Taco Bell a bone <laughs> and vote for it. But Culver's moves on. I go go for cheese curds. Wow. Cheese curds. Okay, that's fair. I'm so sad about that. Butter All right. Uh, mm. Can the place that none of us have ever been but has such an intriguing <laughs> menu take on MSG filled Panda oh. Express deliciousness? Can they uh-huh. can cookout take down Panda Express? I'm voting Panda Express. I, I don't think they can. Yeah. I got a Panda Express. Yeah. Sorry, cookout. All they right. Sweet shot, 16 though. down on to the Elite Eight. Melissa, those are more March Madness sports terms. I well to determine yeah. our final four. <laughs> I was All just right. gonna hang in there and keep listening until something. <laughs> makes sense. I, I, I trust you. I trust you. Is it sportsing? We're sporting. Okay, good. We're sporting. We're fooding too, though. Oh, sportsing. Yep. Yeah. 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 Sportings. Yep. All right. <laughs> um. All right. Here we go. McDonald's versus Dairy Queen. 
a place where their ice cream machine is broken all the time versus a place where if their ice cream machine was broken, there would be riots in the street. McDonald's. You just came out swinging, didn't you? <laughs> McDonald's that does everything so consistently and 90% of the time consistently good. Great breakfast against some of the best ice cream that you can get through a drive through Maybe even some of the best. We haven't even talked about Dilly Bars. Dude. I'm going to vote for McDonald's. I'll start us off. I think McDonald's is just so good. We didn't, we didn't talk about McDonald's desserts either. Their apple pies, like their pies are quite good, I think. Magma. Um, <laughs> if their cookies are fresh, they're fantastic. If they've been there for eight hours, they're hockey pucks <laughs> but that's true of most things though. that's true that's true we all what are we just saying? gonna have to decipher my vote through my heavy breathing <laughs> is, is, is that a dairy backup like <laughs> ice cream heavy about, breathing or is that like the greasiness of a big mac i am just gasping for air thinking about all the delicious meals i've had at mcdonald's this is you and oh. the mcgriddle having a moment the heavy we haven't even brought up no. McDonald's fries, by the way. Oh, that's true. McDonald's fries are All right. legit, probably the me, best. Me and McDonald's fries, like, man. They, uh, they used to be so much better. Double quarter pound um, of cheese. But. It seems like now you have to eat the McDonald's fries as soon as they give you the bag and you can't wait for home. You have to order them without salt so that they're, you're guaranteed to mm. get a fresh there you batch. Go. That's the move, but then you got to salt them. Um, <laughs> or you do like I am. You're like driving. You're like driving with one hand, and then you're eating them out of the passenger mm -hmm. seat with another, and mm -hmm. you're ripping open the tiny salt packets and just like. You've never done that before. <laughs> so. Huh? You've never done that before, have you? Um, yeah, you ask them, like times. you said, you get them without salt, and then you mm -hmm. ask for a side, or you get them, yeah, with the side of salt. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you just do it yourself because they have to make them right then. Mm -hmm. Um, dude. I'm really upset about this. Can you hold? Do they hold the McFlurry upside down when they hand it to you the drive through like they do when the their blizzard? Ice, when their ice cream machine's working, maybe. <laughs> so All right, upset. to take on McDonald's. This fine right. McDonald's. Twelve seed Jack in the Box Giant. against four seed Wendy's. Ooh. Wow. Melissa, let's hear your vote to, first. To take on McDonald's? Mm hmm. What could Wendy's do? Let's go. Let's go. Wendy's. Two, I'm going to lose anyway. Y'all two jokers going to vote for McDonald's. No matter. Wait, Wendy's. no. I thought, wait, no. And that, that's next round. Is I know. Wendy's. Melissa's but looking don't ahead. Excuse me here, okay? The long <laughs> game. The long game. See, I sports there. Wendy's I or tachos with uh, egg roll on the side. <laughs> do you go for the stoner food or do you <laughs> go for the less stoner but more wholesome food? Oh, decisions. How is Wendy's wholesome? Well, it really, well, because they offer the pigtails. The pigtails are just chili. adorable. Yes. Wendy's pigtails. Make it that much better. That's creepy. So in that case, I like, it. I like I like redheads too. So we're gonna have to go with Wendy's. No, we get a lot of <laughs> that, that is a you understand that, a, that right? Fantastic. I'm gonna get a lot of shit for that. <laughs> That's a fantastic point. Look, I'm a fan of redheads as well. Um, moving on, moving on. Please don't cancel us. We're just here for the food, food for podcast. Sorry, Ursula. Oh wait, no, <laughs> this is not red hair right now. We're good. Yes. <laughs> All right. The team that will not die for Steven. Raising Cane's, my favorite fast food restaurant. <laughs> Taking on a place that's always there for me because they are right down the street for me. Like maybe 90 seconds away if I don't hit the hit the light. Arby's. Raising Cane's versus Arby's. Dude. Chef Steven, go ahead. My allegiance is anything that's not raising canes. So in this case, Arby's. I'm voting raising canes. Melissa, I'm going to put you in the spot again. Still, raising canes. Raising canes, ah, it is. Raising canes, it is. To the final four, it goes. 
That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> All right, this is shaping up to be, regardless of who wins this next matchup, an absolute heavyweight battle of the final fours. But to get there, our final Elite Eight matchup, Culver's. The Midwestern Wisconsin Classic taking on our friends from the Orient, but actually from California, probably Panda <laughs> Express. <laughs> I, I I will say I know that you can still refer to the area as the Orient. You just can't refer to the people as that. So I'm safe. You know, I okay. I didn't even think about that, but I was, was just over here like fucking really you, okay. You, <laughs> They are from California. <laughs> Have you ever yeah. watched the history of the food history of food? They uh, talk about the origins of Panda Express. Yeah, okay. it, it, yeah. yeah. But yeah. if I have to make a decision, ooh. <laughs> Culver's does have better desserts. So I think I'm gonna go with Culver's. And they got cheese curds. Dipping the cheese curds into the ice cream. Dude. Uh I might need a little help on that one. Who's, who's got the weed? <laughs> <laughs> Melissa, what do you think? Culver's or Panda Express? Butterburgers for the win. Yeah. Butterburgers for the win. I'm in agreement. I love Panda Express, but I probably eat at Culver's more. We've actually got two Culver's here. Um, Dude, that's awesome. Yeah, it's it's pretty hmm. clutch. <laughs> like that family, kids, that uh, family guy, uh, this short about Denny's. He's like, "Yeah, you need two, so we can go." Be like, "No, no, 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 no. Let's go to the good one." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, final four is set. It's McDonald's, Wendy's, Raising Canes, and Culver's. Who is going to be the winner? Find out next week on the Food for Thought Cast. <laughs> <laughs> No, we'll we'll continue it here. McDonald's is taking on Wendy's, the two probably titans of the fast food burger industry. McDonald's or Wendy's. I'm going to start us off here, and I am going to vote for Wendy's. Unpopular yeah. opinion, but mm -hmm. I think I'm going to have to agree with you. Wow. Melissa, you're wearing Tell the sweater. Me. Tell me what sports team McDonald's is like. Is this like a, a Patriots deal where nobody I mean, wants them to win? What sport do you want? Do you want like football? The, or do you want like footballs. basketball? Like college basketball, I'd say they're a Duke. Mm. Um, or a Kentucky. Football, mm. I, I'd say McDonald's would be the New England Patriots. I mean, mm. they they have absolutely <laughs> stacked dubs in the past. And now yeah. you're like, huh, what happened? Like where are you guys going? Like, I'm not too sure. Belichick, do you still have it? <laughs> See, normally yeah. I would pick McDonald's on this one, but I eat a lot more Wendy's than I do McDonald's because I don't always wake up on time for McDonald's breakfast. Mm -hmm. And when I do wake up that early, I forget all about McDonald's breakfast because I'm thinking of a fat, greasy, heavy, Burger from Wendy's. Fat big between the two. Dude, yeah. I mean, I just want to vote against McDonald's now because I don't want them to win. All right. <laughs> well, there we go. Wendy's moves on. McDonald's loses in the final four. Not, I feel like Wendy's nothing more sportsy Wh than that. Wendy's is almost like a Kansas City Chiefs where you're like, <laughs> like the Chiefs have been, they were one of the original NFL franchises, the founder of the AFL. Uh, mm. Lamar Hunt was the original owner of the Chiefs. The Hunt family still owns them. But now they're like, this is a real deal franchise. They've got a real deal quarterback with the Baconator. I'm sorry, Patrick Mahomes. Like, Wendy's <laughs> may be the Kansas City Chiefs of the fast food industry. All right, two kind of, uh, I, I would say two regional chains here competing for, they, they've, they've definitely gone past the regional aspect, but uh, it's Raising Canes versus Culver's. Um, oh, man. this is tough. This is tough. This is really this is tough an easy for, me. One for me. It's easy. <laughs> Culver's. Melissa, what do you think, dude? Butterburgers, man. Butterburgers. Oh, I All heard right. what a burgers. I was about to say what. <laughs> Already. Culver's moves on, which makes me happy because I can still vote for raising canes down to the down to its last breaths. Um, but it, alas, Culver's 
Culver's goes on to take Wendy's in the final, the championship matchup. I'm, Wendy's or Culver's. I'm just going to throw out a very bad reference, but um, I want to say Raising Cane's is just like the Dallas Cowboys now because they couldn't quite make it all the way. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am that petty. <laughs> Oh man. <laughs> Anyways, I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't mean. No, that's all right. That's all right. <laughs> I, I, that was a long way to yeah. go just to yeah, talk no. crap about the Cowboys, but still. No, that's fine. I, not I'm your not... Wyoming Cowboys. No, I, I know. I was going to say, I'm not a Dallas Cowboys, Cowboys fan. <laughs> I'm not a Dallas Cowboys are, fan. I mean, no harm here. Mikey's going to be mad, but. Good. It's gonna be mad. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Who's going to take on? Wendy's right. or Culver's? Who wants to vote first? I'm just going to throw it out there. Anybody have any strong opinions here? Um, Culver's the they've actually got a good like crispy chicken sandwich as well, spicy chicken sandwich too. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know what, what what do we think? They both have ice creams. Wendy's Dude. does don't doesn't Wendy's also do like mushroom Swiss burgers too? Is it seasonal? Or my I... I don't know. They they, they I, I, I think they that. had Swiss at some I point. Think they have <laughs> something like that. Regardless, I well because it's been years since I've had Culver's, and as delicious as they are, I have a little bit more easier access to Wendy's, so I'm gonna have to go with Wendy's. Melissa, what do you think? I have to go with Culver's for ice cream topping flavors and cheese curds alone, and it hurts. I'm wearing the wrong shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'll, I'll tell you what, I, I I truly do think the food across all levels are probably pretty darn close to even. Um, I'd say the service is pretty close. I think Culver's has a little bit of the Chick-fil-A thing going on where they're very nice at Culver's. And I think they're told like they have to be very nice. They ask your name. They're Midwest nice. Um, you know, they're they beating are. the crap out of somebody <laughs> yeah. in the back. Like, anyway. don't you know, kind of <laughs> hospitable. <laughs> <laughs> but the deciding factor, um, I think, is affordability. And I think Wendy's is just a bit cheaper price wise than Culver's. You're, you're dead to me. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I did not see that one coming. I thought we were in this together. I thought I we know. were ganging up on Steve. Look, you here's the thing, Melissa. You gave me mixed signals. You're wearing a Wendy's My sweater. Car. I know. <laughs> it was the only thing clean today. I don't believe that. This is a chef code. That's what I had. <laughs> there you have it. It's it's been decided, undisputable fact. Wendy's is the greatest fast food chain. Yes, yes. Do we do, we do the clap? Yeah, the slow clap. There we go. There it is. We, we're huh. we're watching Dave and Wendy cut cut the <laughs> cut the nets off the basket. The, the, I'm the... pretty sure there's a lot of pissed off people right now listening to this. <laughs> yeah, that, um, that's what all, you want on a podcast. All four <laughs> people who listen to this podcast are really <laughs> upset. And we're three so of them. I, <laughs> <laughs> I have to I have to shout out we we did have some contributions across social media. So Jonathan Heil, um, who listens to the podcast and friend of the show, said Culver's, Matt Mink uh said Taco Bell and Whataburger. Josh Yingling, the manager over at Good Friends Local Spot Shoutout, says Arby's Horsey Sauce all the way. Randy Kirkpatrick, good friend of mine, um, he says, gosh, what did he say? I got to come back to his. My mom says Golden Chick, which is a local Mm -hmm. chicken place. Sorry, mom, they're not as good as Raising Cane's. She also says Whataburger. Um, Got a couple Chick-fil-A's, one for Cookout, two Panda Express, a couple Whataburger. That's that's what we got. I would like so. to apologize to my best friend Jay. Um, <laughs> she loves Taco Time, and it did not make it past Taco Bueno because I've never had it. Sorry, buddies. <laughs> Sorry, everybody's buddies. Right, but yeah, here we are. To all the people that we pissed off, we will not apologize. No, Wait. never. Randy, Randy said in and out. Um, okay. Sorry, Randy, but it made it pretty far. It made it pretty far. In and so. out, in and out, lost to Culver's in the first round. Yeah. No. Did we vote it for another time? No. <laughs> no. 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 Nope. In and out, mm-hmm. lost to Culver's right off the bat. Oh. See, 
I'm really glad. So Roth messaged me earlier and he was like, do you want me to do like the bracket during the tournament? I was like, yeah, because there's two things I don't understand. It's sports and math <laughs> for sure. Like for sure. Um, I will give a shout out real quick to David Dollar because he sent me the Deuce Cast 600 character bracket when we did ah. that because I was the producer on that. And so I just used that same format and like I I just changed the names because I could not for the life of me figure out how to do a bracket that you can fill out without having to pay for it online. <laughs> nice. So, well, so thanks, thank you, David. David. That's awesome. <laughs> there we go. So, man, I had a blast. Uh, you know, for everybody who's listening out there, maybe you're watching us since we're on YouTube now. Um, there's no gatekeeping when it comes to food. Like, We've talked about this a hundred times before. Everybody likes what they like. And the commonality is that we all like food and we can find something in common. Um, and hopefully it can bring us together, whether it's around a real table or a virtual one. So this has been a blast. Uh, Jacob, you might think that you don't know much about food or that you're only a fast food expert, but that's not true. Because I've seen and heard you talk about the things that you've eaten and that you like to eat before. Um, so I had an absolute blast of a time doing this. And I want to know more about where we can find you online. Yeah, well, I, I probably should give myself more credit because I did work in a meat department for like three years in a grocery hey. store. And like we were like an actual like we would like, yeah, like it was like an actual butcher shop. We wouldn't like clean it off like the full cow, but like we'd get like the full pieces. Yeah. So I, I I know a little bit of um, <laughs> some of the stuff I'm talking about. I can't get all fancy with it like you guys can. Um but you can follow me on the social medias, Instagram, Twitter. Um, if you're a movie fan, if you, you have the app Letterboxd, I am also on there at Roth from Wyoming. That's R-O-T-H. Um, got the movie podcast, the Good Day for a Movie podcast. That's available where all podcasts can be found. Um, we do go full spoilers with all of our movies. So if you care about spoilers and you haven't seen a movie, um, you're not supposed to do this, but don't listen uh, to that one. <laughs> just just wait, for the, wait for a movie or a movie that you're never going to watch. Um, our, my radio station does have a website, um, 1033therange.com. Um, that's the numbers. And then T-H-E-R-A-N-G-E -E to listen to me. Three to seven, Mountain Time, um, Monday through Friday. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll plug the nonprofit I'm a part of as well. We uh, yeah, are supporting our military. Um, it's uh, risewyoming.org, the Rise Foundation. Um, our, our next event is underway on the 16th of November. We are doing a Feed the Troops food drive operation. Um, something I can't remember the name right now because we were just talking <laughs> about fast food for two hours. That's but, right. Um, <laughs> we, uh, we are raising, um, we're, we're doing a food drive for our military members. We've got an Air Force base here in Cheyenne. Um, the military members don't make that much money. And even if they're in it for a long time, they make about, I think it's like 20 or 20 to like 40% less than an equivalent job and time in the normal world. Mm. Um, so sometimes they can't afford it. Sometimes they don't have time to go out and um, do it, especially if there is a, like a family involved and like if the mom, maybe she's working, maybe she's staying at home, but mm -hmm. that's a full-time job as well. So mm -hmm. uh, just making it a little bit easier on our military members. You can go to risewyoming.org to make donations from now until I think the 16th. Anything that's donated is going strictly to the food drive to buy stuff um, that Friday afterwards. And we'll give everything out on Saturday. So that's kind of what's going on in my neck of the woods. Excellent. You know, I love to hear that stuff. And um, I see your latest foster dog back there. It's oh, also, yes. Uh, yes. I, program that I am so. With. So this is um, Lacey. I, I can never I can't remember her name. It takes me like <laughs> a week and a half. Um, she's part Catahoula, part Great Dane um yeah i'm fostering dogs as well i also um am on like the leadership council for our young adult catholic group so i'm just very busy but so Dude, i'm very around roth is everywhere and he's being super humble not only all the things that he said but he's a super great guy and he interviews famous people on the radio sometimes, yeah, sometimes. and more there may be yeah. more on that to come we're, we're looking about we may be putting those out as podcasts in the future that is awesome nice um well i encourage everybody listen if you haven't seen the movie that they're going to talk about for good for the good day for a movie podcast then you can just do what the hosts do tune in 
listen to the intro there play a little bit of the trailer grab yourself uh something to drink and a little snacky stop the podcast watch the movie and pop back when they do right after they watch it yeah so it's great i highly encourage everybody to listen to it and listen if any of the listeners want to give to rise why rise wyoming is that right Rise yes. Foundation, Rise yep. Wyoming. RiseWyoming.org right. Wyoming. is the website. RiseWyoming.org. They have a food drive that will take donations through the 16th. Um, if anybody wants to screenshot me their donation, I'll match it. Um, yes. So very nice we can, Thank you. yeah, we can do that. Well, it's a cause that I believe in. So um, Steve, tell us yeah. where we can find you on the internet. You can always find me online at uh, Chef Steven Gonzalez on Facebook, Chef Stegons on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Or you can go to ChefStevenGonzalez.com. And talk food there. Pick up a copy of my cookbook. Shameless plug. <laughs> <laughs> All the shameless plugs. Hey, listen, uh, this has been an awesome time. I want to thank everybody for listening to the Food for Thought cast. Hit us up on social media. Tell us where we were wrong and where we were right about the greatest fast food chain in America. Um, thank you so much for listening. Be kind to one another, cook good food, eat good food, share it, do all the things. Don't forget to rate review and subscribe and head on over and become a new subscriber for Roth's podcast as well. Thanks everybody. Good night.